Okay, this, this is a Louisiana mud painting. I will explain to you where the dirt comes from and how it's applied to the paper. This is my palette right here. These colors in this section right here, are, these are all iron oxides. These come from West Feliciana Parish. This comes from Rapides Parish. The brown is from Avoyles Parish. This is anywhere in South Louisiana, St. James on down to Terrebonne Parish. The green is glauconite from up near Arkansas, Webster Parish. Dig it, water to make it liquid. Egg yolk is the binder. Egg yolk has been used for many, many centuries as a painting medium. It's very permanent, it adds no color, it's diluted before I paint with it and it's um, very easy to use. I paint on 100% rag paper. This is 300 pound watercolor paper, which is the easiest thing to paint on. And I'm using water out of the spigot, nothing special. And you will see how the, the uh, painting progresses as I do the detail. I'm wetting the paper right now to give me a nice wash before starting the painting. This my palette as you can see here is a just a piece of plastic. It's actually a, a bread dish a bread tray from uh, that I got when we were in Paris doing the show. Cool. The uh, colors that I'm using now are this beautiful pink from West Feliciana, and I'm mixing some a little bit of yellow, which is also from West West Feliciana. This is the a mixture of the pink and some of the yellow from West Feliciana. Beautiful pink. It's uh, actually a color that's indigenous to that area. I've found nowhere else in my search for mud all over the world have I found a pink like that. So I consider that a very important find. Most of the red dirt you can find in the world is more orange. As you can see, I'm wetting everything that I want to have color in, and I'm saving the, the lights, which will be in this piece of architecture here. Obvious absence of blue. There's no usable dirt. Blue dirt in Louisiana, so I don't use blue. Consequently, my pictures are all literally earth tones. The this is the beginning of of the landscape I'm going to do, and it's a little bit wet, but uh, in the meantime, I'll be mixing some of the green, glauconite from uh, Webster Parish. I'm mixing uh, some of the green with a little bit of yellow from uh, the yellow is from West Feliciana. It makes a nice warm green. This is some of the green that's mixed with yellow and some of the swamp mud, the dark, to darken the, this green that I have, the glauconite. To darken it, you must add black or brown, a value that's darker than the uh, green itself, because just piling the green on doesn't darken it. It has to, it has to be something added to it, something darker, of darker value. And to give it a little bit of life, I will add some of this Rapides Parish, 
which is a orange, it's called red dirt, but it's not really red. Beautiful color, very transparent. and just let it melt into the wet area. The next thing I will be doing is some of the foliage. This is going to be a tree that will completely encompass the top of the composition. Again, I'm using the same mixture of yellow, green glauconite, and swamp mud with some egg yolk. Egg yolk is very important at this point because the green is a uh, just sits on will just sit on top of the paper if it doesn't have uh, the binder the egg yolk binder <clears throat> and I'm painting which will be some of the foliage dropping from the tree dropping from the top. leaving sky holes as you would in any ordinary painting to and as you can see that this color is not very dark I'm gonna have to go in and probably punch some darks in the top of the painting now is very extremely wet and uh, the colors are just melting into each other will give it a soft will give it a soft effect which I like as the paper dries I can create uh, sharper hair uh, sharper edges I'm going to start putting in the the structural part of the tree using some of the same colors except adding a little bit more of uh, the dark and I may add a little brown. This brown is from Cavaro Spanish. Very rich, transparent brown. It comes out of the cotton fields in, in uh, the bunky area. Okay, I'm, as you see, I'm putting in the structure of the tree, assuming the, I'm creating a light from the right side. So I'm going to lift a little bit of this off to show that the tree has some roundness to it. I'll come back to that in texture. It's very wet right now. Continue the trunk that's poking in and out of the foliage. And I will start another major part of it coming here. The uh, Oak tree, this is a oak tree if I haven't mentioned it before, has a very stout trunk and, and the branch system and it can move in un realistic ways sometimes. I'm adding just some of the detail to, to uh, entertain in these, this area here. And you can see the tree is taking shape now. Again I'm coming back adding a little bit more dark because it, the, the trunk is drying a little bit here. I can put some texture in it just by patting a little. They have a oak trees have a very pronounced root system
and I shall create some of these roots that start further up the trunk. Okay, in the, in the, uh, the white area that I saved back here, I'm going to do some description with a small brush. And just describing the architecture. I'm putting detail into the the architecture, the little cabin back here that will show in the distance. And using just some, all the same colors over and over again. The uh, detail will show different parts of the architecture. The uh, roof, which is showing white right now, I will attempt to make it have a little bit more character. With some of the brown, the bunky brown. So the detail it's just about finished. You can I can put add or subtract any detail that I want to show that the building is weathered. I'll show some little broken up parts of the roof. Now as a, as a final movement in the picture, I'm going to pull some of the beloved Spanish moss, which is actually a good uh, design element because it decorates an area and adds some reality to it. That's my finished piece. It uh, could sand every painting needs to be edited. I'm not going to edit this at this time. But basically I've got all the elements of the design that I want in it and all the colors are what I intended to have. And that's a Louisiana mud painting.